this is Grant Deckler for Enterprise DNA. Today we're going to be talking about connectivity modes, data set modes, and storage modes. While this may seem a bit basic, I've seen a lot of confusion lately uh, regarding this, and so I wanted to clear that up. So what do I mean by confusion? So there's similar names for things that are not 100% identical, right? There are three connectivity modes, three data set modes, three storage modes, um, and they're all kind of interrelated, but you use slightly different terms. And Microsoft's documentation on this doesn't help, right? They've, in their document, official documentation, they use certain terms uh, for some of these uh, various different modes, but in the application, you know, it uses different terms. Um, and then the third part that I think causes some confusion around this is like Power BI data sets and Azure Analysis Services um, can be, they both support live and direct query uh, connections, connectivity. And what I mean by that is um, if you go into Power BI and you can turn on direct query for Power BI data sets and analysis services by going to file, options and settings, options, you go to preview and you can activate this right here, this direct query for Power BI data sets and analysis and AS. And then what you also have to do in order to get this to work is that you have to go into Power BI service and go to here to the admin portal. And in tenant settings, if you scroll down to export and sharing settings and scroll all the way down here, you'll find this allowed direct query connections to Power BI data sets. So you have to enable that as well. And then you have the ability to connect live and direct and using direct query to Power BI data sets. OK, so let's talk about a little bit about connectivity modes, right? There are three modes. Um, there's import, there's direct query and live. And this refers to how you're actually connecting to the data. So in import mode, you're connecting the data and then you're making a copy of that. You're importing that data into your data set. With direct query, it's more like a, a, a real-time connection to the data set. So what's going on there is that when you're doing things in the Power BI desktop, then it's actually taking the query, translating that to a source query, um, querying the database or data source, and then bringing the information back. And that all happens basically in real time. And live is very, very similar, but only applies to Power BI data sets and tabular service uh, analysis services data sets or tabular cubes. So what, again, when you're doing working with those, again, when you make a query or do something in the Power BI desktop, it then translates that, makes a query back to the data source and then brings the information back. And it does that every time you do something within the desktop. OK, so those are the connectivity modes. Now, the data set modes are similar. Um, there's again, there's three of them, really, and they are import direct query live and then composite, although sometimes you'll see this uh, being in the in the desktop, it'll be referred to as mixed. OK, and this is the actual mode that the data set is in. So when you import data and if you're only using import, then your data set is in import mode. If you are using direct query or live, it's in direct query live mode. There is no real local data set, if you will. Um, and you won't even see the icon within the desktop, the model uh, icon, and I'll show that in a minute. And then obviously then you have composite mixed, uh, which is your using import and direct query together. That creates a composite model or a mixed model. OK, so just a little more information on this. So import, you know, pictures are worth a thousand words, right? So you're importing data and you import it into your model. That's import mode it can come from various different sources. And then that really means that your data is stored locally within your Power BI desktop file and in memory. And then when you publish it to the service, it's the same way. Um, it's all contained directly within the data, data set, and which then gets eventually stored in the memory, right? Your in-memory VertiPak engine. Now that is uh, different again to direct query where you're querying direct query live, where you're doing live queries against the source and bringing that back in real time. And then composite or mixed, um, you're basically using tables configured for import and direct query. And we'll get into all of that as well. Um, they mentioned dual storage mode. Uh, and again, so you're using both and that creates what's called a composite data set. All right, so then storage modes. Now storage modes technically refer to how the actual tables within the, da in the data model 
are being stored. Um, so now again, if you import from an import source, your table is in import mode. If it's a direct query connection, then your table, that table is direct query or live. And then you have your dual mode, which is actually can be used. It's available for it's stored in memory, um, but it's also available for direct query queries um, in terms of that table interacting with other tables within the data model. And then just to add to the confusion, you have what's called hybrid tables. Now, hybrid tables are different than dual mode tables. Uh, hybrid tables actually have multiple partitions within the table where some of those partitions are in import mode and then other partitions are in direct query or real time mode. So what that allows you to do is have very good performance for like historical information, but also allows you to get the latest information from the data source using direct query. Um, so it's kind of a best of both worlds kind of approach. Now let me show you how this looks uh, within Power BI Desktop, and then we'll go back to the last slide and do a review about all of this. Okay, so in Power BI Desktop, here I'm connected to a live workspace, a live data set. Now, if you notice, I don't have any options here in order to convert this to direct query, even though I have everything enabled for direct query. Well, the reason for that is that if you're connected live to a data set in my workspace, then even if you have everything enabled, you still can't convert it to a direct query. So direct query for those Power BI data sets is not supported within my workspace. Now, if you contrast that to, I have, I'm connected to a different data set, and you see down here, I'm connected live to the, connected live to Power BI data set utilization, in a particular workspace, and I have this option to make changes to this model. Now, if I do that, I can click on here and it tells me direct query connections required to make changes to your model, like renaming columns, adding data. You'll need to switch to a direct query connection. Right now it's live. This requires adding a local model to your file and is a permanent change. Now, if I go ahead and say add local model, then it's going to fail on me for some reason. I'm not sure why. Well, that's why we have backups. So here I have the same, I'm actually connected to the same thing and I already completed that step. And you can see down here, down in the storage mode, it says mixed. Well, that means composite. <laughs> so I have, I have a direct query connection and I have a local model, right? Because I have, uh, I have this sheet one here, which is an imported from an Excel spreadsheet. And then this is, the other tables come from my direct query to my Power BI data set. Okay, so then the last one is I have storage mode is direct query, right? Because I'm connected at direct query. This is to a SQL database that's stored locally here. And I have a direct query connection. Now I can also convert this to import mode if I want. And so if I say, okay, I want to switch this to import, it says it's a, it's a permanent change essentially. And you're going to you know, switch from the tables to import. I'm going to click on that. Hopefully this one works. To load up my data. And now you can see that the, the little message down here about being direct query. So now this is this data set is in import mode. So again, you know, you see these different terms and that sort of thing uh, within Microsoft's documentation. So for example, if I bring up Microsoft's documentation on storage modes and that. So manage storage modes in Power BI Desktop. Well, let's look at data set modes first. So there, there's my import mode, and it has that same picture, my direct query mode and composite mode. But again, in the desktop, it says mixed and not composite. And then storage modes in Power BI Desktop. Again, the official documentation. We have propagation of dual settings and that sort of thing. And let me show you how that can be done uh, within Power BI Desktop as well. So go back to my composite model. And if I go to my model view, then here I have this sheet, which is coming from an Excel spreadsheet. If I look at my advanced settings for that table, you'll see that I have import mode and direct query and dual are not enabled because Excel doesn't support direct query. Now, this here is a direct query. So it, and all I can do with it is, is for it to be direct query. And this table over here, is coming from a different direct query source um, from my SQL database. This is Power BI datasets uh, is where these tables are coming from. 
This is actually coming from my SQL server as a direct query, but I have the option to change it to import mode or change it to dual mode um, because that's what SQL server supports that functionality to have, you know, be import, direct query, or dual, so both. All right, so let's review real quick. Hopefully this is clean, cleaning up some of the confusion. So we have, again, connectivity mode. If it's live, then the data set mode is live and the storage mode is live. Now live data set con conversion, you know, connections can be converted to direct query if you have that functionality enabled, as I showed earlier in the video. And you can have a direct query connection, which goes into your data set mode as direct query, and then storage mode is direct query. Um, and then you have import down at the bottom where it's import, you have an import data set mode, and you have your import storage mode for your table. Now, again, the, as you can see, a composite or mixed data set actually has both direct query and import connectivity sources coming in. And then once you have a composite data model, then your tables can be either import mode, uh, potentially direct query mode, or even dual mode. And then furthermore, your hybrid tables can be a combination of both import partitions and direct query partitions. And again, as the you know, last thing you can show here is that direct query connections can be converted to import. Um, it's irreversible, but uh, it can be done. So that is all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this cleared up some of the confusion and I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.